All right, first time ever occurrence. The two random guys that I'm playing with that recognized me from playing golf on YouTube. I cannot believe it. They, they said they watched courses in Illinois because I play this one a lot and the Kai Kill one, but they said they recognized me from the video. So very, I, I guess, I guess we're, we're getting somewhere. There we go. Ah, that's what I didn't want. So we putted like an absolute god today. Hole number one, par four, 372 yards. Normally I tee off with the driver, but the wind was at our backs and I was feeling a little bit more shaky with the driver than the iron, so we're just teeing off with an iron to get something down the middle of the fairway. Oh, fat. That'll be alright. Chunked that one a bit, but it's okay because it's down right, the middle. Chunked that first shot. Kind of anxious off the first tee for some reason, so now we got 250 out. Second shot here, 250, so just trying to hit something nice again down the middle. Jitters today. Third shot, real That'll nice work. and close there. Got about a seven footer that for par work. for the up and down. Just uh, those first two shots really hitting behind the ball and topping it, but hopefully we can recover here. And just ran it by on the high side, so that's going to be a bogey for us to start out. Hole number two, par five, 522 yards. Really like the way that rehearsal swing felt. Oh my god. But unfortunately, you can kind of see our backswing was much shorter on the actual swing and got stuck on the back leg and kind of just topped that one into the water. So this is our third oh. shot after the penalty stroke. Much better contact there, but we pulled that one a little bit to the left. There we go. Up Not in the covered. fescue and just a real nice shot to get it back into the play Perfect. into the middle of the fairway. All right, 144, but pins at the front with a strong wind in our face. So if we really loft it up, it's probably gonna die. So let's just a smooth seven, try to put it a little bit behind the hole. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. Exactly how he drew it up there. That shot was so flush, just above the hole like we planned. A little bit of a slippery downhill putt here, though, for our uh, bogey to get it up and down from there after that water ball. And this one broke a little bit more than I thought, so we got about a three-footer left here for double. Okay. I'll be okay. All right, that drive was much better. I think in my head, I was kind of just telling myself I really wanted to try and break 80 today because my impact position's been feeling pretty good. And I could kind of tell when I woke up, I was kind of feeling a little bit of almost like competition jitters or jittery. I uh, just kind of was putting that pressure on myself and we just were letting our technique or swing go on those first couple holes, but now that we've kind of loosened up and more relaxed, just let it flow. That drive was good. So let's not think about scoring today, just having a good time executing each shot. And I think we'll score a lot better. So let's just focus on that today. All right, got this beautiful eye. Really don't want to leave it short in that bunker, so we're going to club up. Okay. Ah, it's 
what I didn't want. Third shot here, just missed the green, just trying to put this in the open made. part of the green to the left and then hopefully stop it about full high. Sit. Sit. We sit. That was the shot I was aiming for, oh, we just was carrying piece. too much speed and it uh, caught that downhill slope and ran away from us, so this is our putt for par, we got about 60-70 feet here. And we ended up about hole high, just it didn't have any of the break that I thought it was going to, so got about a 6 foot tester here left for bogey. Just ran that one a little bit past, so that's going to be another I double, unfortunately. Still right below. Oh. Hole number four, par three, 134 yards. Clubbed oh, up and tried to hit a knockdown sit. shot because of the sit. wind, but sit. as I always do when I do that shot, oh, tugged okay. it a little Sorry. bit to the left, so left it up on okay. the hill there. Let's see. How unfriendly is this lie? Ah, not too bad. Do what he just did, just trundle it down there. Right to the hole. This shot, I usually like to just bump it into the hill and let the slope take there it down go. to the flag. Perfect. Oh, not enough. We had the speed right, just was aimed a little bit left of where I wanted to be to get it right to the flag. So, got uh, about a 12 or 15 footer here for par. And drilled it to get us back on pace. Thank you. Hole number five, par four, 399 yards. This one I like to take an aggressive line over that little nope, shrub Travis. directly in front of me. But as you can see, we're kind of getting stuck on the back leg, letting that leak a little bit right. Oh, God. All right. 150 to the pin, wind strong into our face. This uphill eye is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So, knock down six here, we can get it close to the front. Oh no, Travis. Turned it over. Sit. Oh boy, that's lovely. Another beautiful eye in the woodland realm here. Another beautiful eye. Sit. Too much. Too much gas. Oh, it's too busy. Hopefully this fringe doesn't slow us down. Be the number. Sit, sit, sit. Oh. Got about a 15 footer left here for our bogey. That one just slides by, so that's going to be a tap in and double. Hole number six, par five, 535 yards. This hole is uphill and always plays into the wind, so it always feels super long. Hold that one a little bit left, but it's going to get up on top of that hill and we're going to be okay. It's going to be a very scrappy round of golf today. A lot of wind, just kind of different direction on every hole, and we're not really focusing so much on target. Still got a little bit of swing thoughts in our head, so a little bit of turnover on some of the shots instead of just thinking about being good through impact. So just got to focus strictly on targets and hit some knockdown shots here because wind is all over the place and it's pretty strong today. So. Having a good time, just a few too many mistakes resulting in double bogeys instead of single bogeys or pars. 
Second shot here on top of the hill, just hitting a six iron and put it right into the fairway. Perfect. Exactly what we wanted. Really nice layup there and third shot into the green. That shot felt as smooth as butter exactly to the center of the green where I was Perfect. aiming. Got about a 25-30 footer here uh, downhill for our birdie. Turn, please turn. Oh. Just Harder slips by about five or six feet, so we got that left coming back for par. Hole number seven, par three, 203 yards. Downhill with the slope here and with the wind in our face, yeah. I tried to do a oh, kind of like a cut five that I was choked up on, but I ended up just leaving it a tad short and the wind blew it because it was right to left in the face off to this little fescue area here. So we are just on the edge and again in the woodland realm here. So just going to try and hit a super high flyer and stop it on the green. Pretty good shot there, just right to the center of the green. Got about a 35 footer here for up and down par. Just raced it by, so about a six footer left for bogey. Eight, par four, 324 yards. I'm lined up for a pretty aggressive line here over that middle sand trap, uh, but uh, again, with my swing flaw, just kind of leaning back and getting stuck. Face is a little bit open, so we know our miss today, and we just miss out to the right in the middle of the fairway. Just gonna have a longer second shot in. Not that far over. Stay up. Oh, bad bounce. Good shot, just got a bad bounce and it went into the fescue, so we had to take a drop and this is our fourth shot for the okay. stroke. Real nice shot just into the middle of the green, so we got this uh, putt to get up and down for bogey with that out of bounce. Hole number nine, par four, 368 yards. Hit a little bit of a cut, and it's just gonna get over that sand trap and trundle down, so gonna be in a good plot for our second shot. Choked up on a pitching wedge here and absolutely flushed this, the perfect number of where I was aiming, and we landed pin high there. Got a three-footer tap in for our birdie. So good way to finish this front nine. Putting that out for the confidence booster, and that is a birdie to finish the front. So we are going to end with a 44. Pretty good on pace, uh, almost on pace for an 80. Just going to have to step it up a little bit on the back nine. Hole number 10, par 4, 369 yards. This one's about 250 to the barber pole, so I'll typically lay up with a 5 and let it roll down the hill. Not quite flush, but that'll pretty much get the job done, be 10 foot behind the barber pole. Going in with just a cut 7 into this wind to make sure we really get it up on the green, and we're just going to be right in the center there for our birdie putt. Got about a 15 or 20 footer here and just roll it past a little bit. So another four or five foot tester for our part.
I think I might have just forgot to press play on that drive. It was a straight nuke. It was a little low. 237 to carry and the wind's with us, so we should be fine and over, I'm pretty sure. But uh, it was a little bit lower of a trajectory, so probably near the fringe, but we'll see. But swing felt good, solid contact, so I'm pretty sure we're safe. All right, I guess we were too aggressive with our line, so it's our third shot here. Travis, stay up, stay up. Oh, terrible. All right. Nice high ball here. used a 60 degree wedge there and in retrospect I should have clubbed up higher because that was actually a long distance that I needed to travel and 60 wasn't going to get that far so that was our fifth shot there just chipping it out of the green and then another oh, one putt here you. for double hole number 12 par 5 502 yards you can see in the upper left of the screen, but I think the marshal maybe noticed that I was filming because he was kind of following me around, and now he's watching my tee shot here. And unfortunately, I think I let the nerves of him just staring me down get to me, and I tugged that one a little bit, just kind of double-crossed over the top, and put that one into the woods down on the side. So this is where we're taking an OB drop, and this is our third shot. Just gonna try and put it back in play into the fairway because there's no way I'm getting it across the river for this shot. Perfectly flush there and just leave it right back in the middle of the fairway. Fourth shot, really trying to give it the gas there to get it up to the green. Unfortunately, just left it a little bit short, so got a bump and run here to try and get it up and down for bogey. Right on line there, just left it a little bit short, so got a six footer for bogey here. Going through my entire putting sequence, you guys can see I'll typically walk the distance to see how far it is to the hole. Then I'll see where I think it's going to break and try to line up my target and just imagine the line that the ball is going to follow going to the hole. Perfect pace there, another one putt and a really well earned bogey there. Alright, to get away with the six there. Thanks for that putt. But to get away with a six after that tee shot and then having to lay up, oh, feels like highway robbery. But uh, I don't know if you guys saw. You, you probably would because of the way I had the camera doing face on, but the marshal was eyeing me on that tee shot and I just got a little nervous and pulled it left. Because uh, I think he knows, he's, he noticed my camera is seeing me walk around filming. I mean, I'm filming here most times, so they must know by now because I'm probably the only one that walks this course because it's so dang long. But uh, gotta, I can't let those things psych me out. Just like playing in front of the camera, playing in front of people watching me on the tee box. Got to be able to handle that pressure. Oh, well, too far, right? That'll be okay. All right, good spot. I'd rather be straight on, but a little precarious. But uh, 78 yards right to left so just a nice compact 60 degree and then we'll let the wind carry it up onto that hill there Oh, 
Oh, Travis. Oh, you chunked it. Let your hands drop down instead of keep turning the chest through. All right, so we meant a mistake there. Yeah. Get this one close now. We got a chance. Nice. All right, made it out with par after that what chunked wedge. Hole number 14, par 5, 480 yards. Real good contact, that one just leaked a little bit right, but we managed to drive it over that bunker over there into the rough. So second shot here, got kind of a flyer lie, just gonna hit a nice go. smooth eight back into the fairway. Perfect. Third shot, 100 yards out, just a gap wedge, and that was super smooth. Oh, bad bounce. Just took a bad bounce right on the front of that hill and bounced off to the right. So this is our putt for birdie from the fringe. Another really good one putt in our second birdie on the day. Par 337 yards. I kept this guy shot in because he basically made a hole in one. He was like two inches in front of the hole oh, nice. and it just rolled ever so slightly to the side, but really, really great shot. So just thought I'd highlight that there for him if he ever somehow manages to come across this video. <laughs> but uh, uh, 137 here, just trying to hit a nice smooth nine iron and let the wind kind of just carry it and we landed right in the middle of the green. So very, very safe play. Just gonna try and get our uh, downhill birdie putt here. <clears throat> Didn't wanna run it past, just left it short, so that's gonna be a nice tap in par. Par four, 404 yards. We are actually looking like we got a pretty good chance today. We are plus 10 through 15 holes, and as long as we can close out these last three holes pretty stably, we might actually have a chance to break 80 today. Ah, oh, turn it over, Trent. Just turn it over a little bit. I typically struggle with this hole for some reason mentally because it is a pretty tight fairway. All right, another adventure in the woodland realm here. Stick out of there. It's a nice straight 80 yard punch out. That's all we need 80 yard punch out. Good. Alright, that'll be good. 145 to the pin, 115 to the front. Just a nice, smooth, buttery 9 iron. Like butter. Oh, just a little short. That'd be okay. A little bit shorter than I want, but smooth and straight. All right, really long putt here to try and salvage the par. Really good line in, pretty good pace. Mm, Just blew it past the hole a little bit, so we'll have a six-footer coming back for bogey. Just lipped around the flag, so our hot streak is over, and that's going to be a double. Nope, too 
far left. Bye, babe. Second shot here out of the sand, just pulled that tee shot a little bit left, had the right yardage just uh, left of pin. Really got to get a little fancy with this one because otherwise it's going to run downhill. Oh, just short. And we were trying to get too cute there and we landed in the fringe, so kind of punished there. That's it. Third shot here was a downhill lie in the deep rough, and we just caught that one a little heavy, so kind of ran down the hill. Not, oh my god, Travis. Long putt up a steep uphill slope, so missed that, so we got this uh, seven footer left for bo double bogey. Terrible long hole, but settle for a double after that catastrophe. All right, we were on pace to maybe get close to breaking 80. We were playing real strong in this back half, but uh, those last two holes, just a few too many mental mistakes. One three putt, and then that last hole, just not committing to that uh, sand shot. Again, you need to get with it, and that ended up costing you. Hole number 18, par four, 385 yards. A little bit too much on the inside with an open face, and that just peeled into the sand trap. Alright, this is not the shot we wanted to leave ourselves here. Probably wanted to be in the fairway, but just dipping a little bit let that leak right, so this is a terrible lie. I really gotta pick this up to not clip that fringe there. So let's just be nice. Gotta get artsy with this one. Oh! I was trying to get too cute again. Oh, My geez. mind kind of broke down after those last two yeah. holes, and oh. both of those bunker shots, I was really trying to hoist it up into the air because I was so close to the fringe that I ended up just kind of leaning back with that open face and hitting that blocked shot. Fifth shot here, about a 15-footer downhill to try and save bogey. Please turn. And just lift around the flag again there, so that's going to be a tap-in double. Oh boy. No. Oh. Nice. Nice yeah, play with you. Can go. Yeah. All right. That's fine with you. Nice yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, well, double. Not a very good double, two terrible sand shots from the fairway. But, uh, all in all, not too bad. Alright, so let's do a quick wrap up of today's round. So we scored an 88. Uh, two birdies, which was pretty good. One, two, three, four, five pars. Nothing over a double. Definitely a lot of holes today, just as kind of a general feeling. We had a few too many doubles where we would make a couple compounding mistakes on the hole. So like a three putt, and then also a shot into the fescue where I would have to chip out to the side. So you figure you're not getting the green in regulation and a three putt, that's gonna be a six, it's gonna be a double. Um, but we were able to stave everything off at double, no triples or anything like that. But uh, we putted like an absolute god today. We had seven one putts.
But uh, to quickly summarize some of the stats, we were 8 for 18 on fairways, 5 for 18 on greens and regulation. You can see that was the biggest error there. And then only 3, uh, three putts today, and like I said, 7 one putts. So putting very, very strong, getting up and down saved me a lot today uh, because, frankly, my ball striking was kind of all over the place. So like I said, I've been the last couple lessons are... Uh, videos I've really been reworking uh, trying to get my swing so it stays inside and not have that kind of over the top chop action and uh, it's finally starting to get there but I still don't totally trust it yet so kind of my instincts take over and we we're pulling quite a few shots left today versus like really driving through the ball and getting maximum distance so all in all pretty good thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed it I thought we were going to be able to start out as sort of like a breaking 80 series but those first two holes are absolutely god awful just shifting our weight to the back um, but uh, then we kind of cleaned it up from there but just kind of a few too many sloppy holes with uh, two errors on each hole uh, resulting in some doubles so um, again thank you guys for watching be sure to subscribe if you haven't do like seeing that number go up uh, leave comments if there's anywhere I can improve in the videos and look forward to seeing you guys next time